you some water. If you've just got up, you might be a little bit dehydrated. Just wait one more minute and just make sure that you're comfortable in all of the poses, okay? That's the main um, aim of yoga. Don't ever push um, through pain or if anything's um, too intense, just come on out and just always listen to the body and check in. So I will start. If anyone comes in, I'll just let them in. So, yeah, you're all on mute, but like I said, if you want me to work around anything, I can just pop it in the chat box. So we're going to begin today in a seated position. If anyone feels like this is too much for their lower back or they just can't sit up nice and tall, then pop some cushions underneath your lower back. Okay, because the aim of this seated position is to find length in the spine, okay? So you can take a nice big breath in to the belly and exhale. Perfect. So when you're in your comfortable position, pop the hands either to center or on the knees, wherever you find most comfortable. Relax the shoulders down and away from the ears. Finding a little bit of stillness now. Begin in the practice with a few deep breaths. So you can close down the eyes here if you prefer, checking in with the body. And we're gonna take a big breath in through the nose for about five second inhale. And exhale through the mouth. And I'll just like you to repeat that a couple more times. On every exhale, feel the shoulders slowly relax away from the ears. Okay, and if you are sat in the seated position and any to-do lists come up in your mind or any negative thoughts, we're gonna take one last big breath in and let go of any stress or tension that you might have. Feeling the whole body become very relaxed and calm. So staying seated, we're gonna take a big breath in as we lift and lengthen the spine. Lower your right hand down to one side, just in line with the hips. We're just gonna stretch up and over with the left. So you come into a nice side bend. Think about relaxing the knees down towards the floor. Feeling the side body really lengthen and open. And on your next exhale, let's slowly bring it back to center. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as you lower to the other side, reaching up and over. And bring it back to center. Inhale as we lift and lengthen for one more. As we lower it down, maybe you drop the elbow down this time to get a little bit lower, reaching up and over, feeling that side body really lengthen. And gently bring it back to seated. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Let's go to the other side. Dropping that elbow down as you reach up and over. And bring it back to seated. Bringing the hands onto the knees, we're gonna work through some gentle head rolls. So circling the head around in one direction. If anyone's just rolled out of bed this morning, take your movements nice and slow before the body warms up. Okay, imagine you're drawing a big circle with your nose, feeling the neck warm up and the muscles release. And let's circle around the other way, keep and lengthen your spine. Bringing the head back to center once you're ready. Bringing your body round now, coming onto all fours. Just let this last person in. Okay, so in this all fours position, you want your hands in line with the shoulders, spread the fingers and your knees in line with the hips. Big breath in, breathe into the belly. As we exhale, we're gonna sit the hips back and find your first child pose. Relax the head, keep the arms active. We're gonna spread the hands and just rock side to side, loosen off the lower back. 
Taking a big breath into your belly, feel the belly press onto your thighs. And exhale through the mouth, feeling the head, shoulders and hips relax towards the floor. And this is a really nice restorative pose. If anyone's feeling tired or maybe you're recovering from something, always come back to this child pose if you need to during the practice. On your next inhale, let's bring it up to all fours. We're going to tuck the toes, lift the hips and find your first downward facing dog. Think about spreading the fingers so your hands are active. Nice strong arms, head is through the gap and we're gonna walk through your legs. Keeping a nice neutral spine as you bend into one knee at a time, feel some tension release through the ankles, knees and hips. Nice, so just pedaling through the legs, taking your time. Might feel like the arms are starting to wake up now. And when you're ready, let's walk the feet all the way up towards your hands, coming into a forward fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to here. Relax the head, give your arms a little shake. And let's slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, leaving your shoulders and head last. Ground in the feet, take a big breath in as we reach the arms up. Exhale as we forward fold, coming back into that same position. Again, relax the head, soften into the knees. Let's slowly roll back up through your spine, leaving your head last. We've got two more of these. Big breath in, let's reach the arms up. And exhale, everything out, forward fold. Shaking out the arms, slowly roll up through your spine. Taking your time. Working through one more, big breath in, reach the arms up and exhale everything out as you forward fold, relax the head. Keeping the body in this position as we ground the hands in line with the shoulders, step into your high plank. Nice strong plank position, let's wake up the core now. We're going to hold it here for 10 seconds, keeping the arms nice and strong. Just to let you know in your plank positions you can always lower the knees if you need to, to make it a little bit easier. Keep holding for five, four, three, two, one. We're all going to lower the knees now. Let's bend into the arms and bring the body down onto the mat. Untuck the toes. We're going to spread the fingers in line with the elbows. Press up through the fingertips and find this sphinx pose. It's a mini back bend. Make sure you tuck the tailbone so you engage into your glute muscles. The lower abdominals are engaged. Take a big breath in as you lift and lengthen. And exhale as we slowly bring it down. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Let's push back up onto your knees, nice and strong. Tuck the toes and come straight back into your downward facing dog. Hips are high. You can stay here or again, walk through the legs if you like, like we did before. And then on your next inhale, let's walk the feet back up towards the hands. Finding your forward fold, giving the arms a little shake. Let's roll up through your spine. Ground in the feet, big breath in as we repeat, arms above the head. Exhale as we forward fold, coming straight into your plank. Step into that nice strong plank position. Lower the knees again if you need to, or let's go straight down on your toes, bringing the chest to the floor. Inhale as we untuck the toes, find that sphinx pose.
Lydia, I think you're on mute. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not sure what happened. Um, I will start from the top of the mat. I just looked at my screen and it was off, so I'm not sure when it cut out. So we're going to start again from this position. Big breath in as we reach the arms up. Thank you. Exhale as we forward fold. So finding that nice forward fold position. Nice strong hands. Let's step into your high plank. Engage the tummy muscles. And either drop the knees or try and lower on your toes. So bringing the body down onto the floor. Untuck the toes, let's find your sphinx pose. Spreading the fingertips like we did before. Really press up, lengthen through the spine. Take a big breath in as you lift and lengthen. And exhale as we slowly bring it down. Hands come underneath the shoulders, push up onto your knees. Tuck the toes and come back into your downward facing dog. Nice. So from this position, we're going to step the right foot in between the hands. Use the right hand for support if you need to. Then from here, we're going to lower the back knee. If anyone needs a cushion underneath that back knee, then pop a cushion underneath to support. Inhale as we reach the arms up. Find your low lunge. Exhale as we lower this right hand down. Find a nice stretch through that left hip. Think about relaxing this right arm and keep reaching up with that left arm. And on your next exhale, let's bring it back to center. Ground in the hands either side of that front foot. We're gonna slowly rock it forwards and rock it back. Feet in the hips release. Inhale as you come forwards, exhale as we bring it back. Okay, as we do bring it back, you can keep that front knee soft. Don't worry about locking out the leg. Try and keep length in the spine and always move to your breath, nice and slow. Feeling some tension, release as you exhale. Perfect, bringing the body back into this low lunge. We're gonna tuck the back toes, find a high lunge now. So that left leg is fully engaged, lengthen that through the spine and let's keep this high lunge for five more seconds. Feeling the legs really wake up. Try and keep length in the spine and as much as you can in all of these poses guys, try and stay nice and light on the fingertips, okay? Avoid putting too much weight through the wrists. On your next exhale, we're going to step this back leg forwards, find that forward fold. Shaking out the shoulders, roll up through the spine and bring the body up to standing. We're going to bend into the knees now and sit down into a chair. Lengthening through the spine, just really waking up the legs now as we bring the knees in line with the toes. Try and reach up with the arms, energy through the fingers. And on your next exhale, slowly release. Ground in the hands, step into your high plank. Engage the core muscles. And on your next exhale, we're gonna lower the knees and bring the hips back into your child pose. Relax the head. And in this child pose, you can add in any extra stretches if you need them. Or if you're happy to just stay here for another three breaths, you can rock the hips side to side. Checking in with the body. On your next inhale, let's bring it up to all fours. Tucking the toes, lift the hips down with facing dog. So we're gonna move on to the other side now. Inhale as we step your left foot through, high lunge. Ground your right knee. Inhale as we slowly reach the arms up. Keeping this lunge position as we exhale and lower that left hand down, feeling some tension release through this right side. Big breath in and exhale as we bring it back. Hands either side of this front foot. Untuck the back toes. Inhale as we find this low lunge. Exhale, let's bring it back. Gently rocking forwards and back. Really warming up the hips now. See how it feels on this side for you. 
might be a little bit tighter or looser, but that's completely fine. Just ease your way into it. And then coming into that low lunge, try and stay nice and light on your fingertips as we tuck the back toes, lift up into a nice strong high lunge. Keeping length in the spine, that front knee's just over the front ankle, head in line with the spine and the shoulders are square. On your next exhale, let's step that back foot forwards and come back into your forward fold. So that's quite a strong movement through the legs. Take a big breath in and on your next exhale, let's slowly roll up through your spine, leaving the head last. Coming into a wide position now. So we're going to bring the feet wide and the long edge of your foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. So both feet are facing forwards. Bend into the knees as much as you need to here, okay guys? Take a big breath in as we lift and lengthen. Exhale, let's slowly forward fold, trying to keep a nice flat back. Relax the head. And we're going to bend into one knee at a time here. So we're down in the center and you're just going to bend and extend one leg at a time. Just feeling the hips slowly release. Nice. And the deeper you bend, the more stretch you get in the other leg. And bringing the legs back to center. So soften into the knees as much as you need to. And then from here, we're going to walk the hands around to the left. Looking over your left shoulder, look back over towards your hips, feeling a gentle twist through the spine. And on your next exhale, let's bring it out. Walking around over to your right foot, looking over your right shoulder. And exhale as you bring it back. Hands come onto your hips now. So we're gonna find a nice neutral spine. As you lead with the chest, squeeze your glutes to come up to stand in. We're gonna to toe heel the feet in and we're gonna work through squats today. So it's quite a strong movement. The toes turn out, the knees track the toes. We're gonna to take a big breath in as we lower down. So the hips sit back and down, the knees track the toes, the chest stays lifted and exhale as we push up. We're going to aim for six reps. Inhale as you lower. You can put the hands on the shoulders. Exhale as you push for two. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you push three. Halfway. So this one's really good for your leg muscles. When you are sat at the desk during the day, these muscles are switched off. So it's really good to get them working. We've got two more. Big breath in as you lower it down. Exhale as you push, last one. Inhale as we drop it down. Exhale as we bring it back up. Really nice, shaking out the legs if you need to and bring the body up to the top of the mat. Inhale as we reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, ground the hands, step into your plank, lower the knees if you need to. Let's bring the body down. Okay, either repeat that sphinx pose that we've done before. If anyone would like to go into a deeper back bend, pop your hands underneath your shoulders, keep the elbows bent if you need to, or push up to a full cobra. Wherever you are, lift and lengthen through the spine and exhale as we slowly bring it down. Hands come under the shoulders if they're not already. Press up onto the knees, let's bring the hips back into your child pose. Rocking side to side here, loosening off the lower back. Checking in with the body. Let's take a big breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Okay, we're gonna work on the side body now. So let's walk your hands over to the left, keeping the arms nice and straight, reaching out with that right arm as we come on a diagonal. Relax the head, relax the shoulder. And you can gently rock into that right shoulder, releasing off a bit of tension here. And 
on your next exhale, let's bring it back to center. Walking your way around to the right, reach across with that left arm. And again, you can rock into that left shoulder. Bringing the body back into your child pose. On your next inhale, bring it up to all fours, tabletop, nice neutral spine. As we tuck the toes, lift the hips and come back into your downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna step the right foot through again, like we did before, help the foot if you need to. So we're in this high lunge, like I said before, nice and light on the fingertips. If you need to, lower the back knee, but from here, we're gonna try and control the body up. So you find this nice balance. You can pop your hands on the hips if you need to, or reach the arms above the head. This position is called warrior one or high lunge. Try and keep the hips square, really bend into both knees. So it's a nice active stretch. Big breath in as you lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale as we slowly forward fold, bringing it back, hands either side of that front foot. Inhale as we reach up with your right arm, coming into a twist. Reaching across, maybe look at that right hand, keeping the legs super strong. And exhale as you bring that hand back down onto the floor. We're gonna step the back foot forwards and bring it back into your forward fold. Inhale as we bend into the knees, finding your chair pose. Nice neutral spine, energy in the arms. And exhale as you forward fold, ground in the hands, step into your high plank, engage the core muscles, lower the knees if you need to, bringing the body through to a sphinx or cobra. Inhale as you lift and lengthen, exhale as you bring it down. Hands come underneath the shoulders if they're not already, press up onto the knees, tuck the toes straight into your downward facing dog. Inhale as we step your left foot through, high lunge. Keep the legs strong as we control the arms up. Keeping this balance. Big breath in as you lift and lengthen and exhale as we slowly grab the hands either side of your front foot. Inhale as we reach up with your left arm. Come into that twist. And exhale as we bring that hand to floor. Step in the back foot forwards, final chair. Inhale as we reach the arms up. Last one, nice and strong in the arms. Hips are back, bend into the knees here as much as you can. And exhale as we forward fold. We're going to hold on to the elbows now in this forward fold. It's just going to add a little bit more weight through the shoulders. Relax the head and you can rock side to side here if that feels good for you. And this helps decompress the spine. And if anyone feels like there's a lot of tension in their neck or shoulders, this will help. Just relax. Bringing the chin into your chest, allowing the head to drop. And then when you're feeling super relaxed, let's slowly roll back up, bringing the head up last. Really good. So we're gonna come back into that wide position. And this is warrior two. So we work through warrior one together. So both feet are facing forwards like we did before. We're gonna turn out the right foot. So the heel, if you haven't done this before, the heel of that front foot is in the center of your left foot. Okay, just imagine you're on a line. If your hips are tighter or looser, you can adapt if you need to. We're gonna bend into your right knee. You don't want the knee to go over the toes. If the knee does travel that far, then you wanna go a little bit wider, okay? Big breath in and exhale as we bend into that right knee. That left leg's nice and strong. Let's bring the hands in line with the shoulders. Imagine the feet are pulling towards each other through the floor, so there's an active, um, stretch here. Maybe drop down a bit deeper and you can either stay here or we can lower the right elbow down onto the thigh and reach up and over with the left arm. So we're in a nice strong position. Think about bringing the chest up towards the sky. 
keeping the legs where they are, we're going to reverse your warrior. So the left arm comes down your left leg. Let's reach up and over with your right. From here, we're going to windmill the arms all the way around, either side of this right foot. We're going to square up that back leg. So we're back onto the toes. We're in this high lunge position, the right leg's in front. Let's lower the back knee. Take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to sit the hips back and find this forward fold like we did before. Bring the toes towards you, but hold for five breaths. Relax the head towards that front knee. And on your next exhale, let's slowly release. Tucking the back toes, extend the back leg. From here, we're going to lift the hips and find a triangle. Again, working through the back of the hips. Step the back foot forward here, guys, if you need to, to help with your flexibility. Bend into your knees as much as you need to. Take a big breath in as you lengthen the spine. Exhale as you forward fold. And I'm going to give you an option here. You can either stay where you are or step your left hand in front of your right foot and slowly reach up with your right arm. So we come into a twist. And on your next exhale, let's bring that top arm down, step the back foot forward and we're back into your forward fold. Giving your arms a shake, add any extra stretches if you need to and then slowly roll it up through your spine. Coming into a standing balance on this right leg. Hands come onto the hips. If you need a chair or a wind or a wall for balance, definitely use one. That's absolutely fine. But we're just going to take the weight onto this right leg. Hands come onto the hips. Slowly extend this left leg back. I think we did with this one last week. This is called Warrior Three. Okay, just lift the leg as high as comfortable. Find in a balance. Eventually you'll become horizontal and we're gonna hold. Keep it here, guys. An extra five, four, three, two, one. And bring it up to standing. Shake out the legs, big breath in as you reach the arms up. Exhale as we forward fold, ground in the hands, step into your high plank. Keeping the core engaged, let's lower down. Drop the knees here if you need to. Inhale as you push up to your cobra or your sphinx pose. Exhale as you bring it down. Pop the hands under the shoulders if they're not already. Press up onto the knees. Tuck the toes, lift the hips into your downward facing dog. And step up towards the hands. Bringing the body up to standing. Let's roll up through the spine. We'll work through the other side. Coming into a nice wide position. Okay, so we're going to turn out your left foot, warrior two. Keep that right leg engaged, hands in line with the shoulders, big breath in as you lift and lengthen through the spine. Okay, and drop down to your range, guys. So knee track in the toes. Inhale as we lower that left elbow onto that left thigh, reach up and over with the right. And keeping the legs where they are, we're going to reverse your warrior. Your right hand lowers down that right leg. Stay nice and strong as we reach up with your left arm. Open up the side body. Big breath in. From here, windmill the arms around. Either side of that left foot. Square up your back hip here. Control the back knee down. Take a big breath in as you lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale as we sit the hips back and find that forward fold. Relax the head. Maybe bring the toes towards you. Feeling some tension release in the back of the leg. Inhale as we bring the ground that front foot. Find your low lunge. Tuck the back toes. Find your high lunge. Big breath in as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as we lift the hips, find your triangle. Step the back foot forwards as much as you need to here. Inhale as you lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale as you bring the head towards that front knee. Either stay here guys, or if anyone wants to step your right hand in front of that left foot, 
slowly find a twist as we reach up with your left arm. On your next exhale, let's slowly ground that top hand. Step the back foot forwards. Give your arms a little shake and roll it up. Leaving your head last. Coming into that same balance, warrior three on your left leg. Finding your hips with your hands or use a wall if you need to. Nice and controlled, let's lift that right leg. Again, stabilizing that left leg. Keep length in the spine. Keep it there, guys, for another five, four, three, two, one. And bring it up to standing. Ground in the feet, big breath in as we reach the arms up. Exhale as we forward fold. Let's ground the hands, find your high plank. From here, we're going to lower the knees and bring it straight into your child pose. Relax the head and just rock side to side if that feels good for you. Allowing the shoulders, the head and the neck to really relax. Notice any sensations in the hips after those strengthening exercises. Okay, so we're going to work through the lower back and shoulders now. Taking a big breath in as we come up to all fours, making sure the hands and knees, there's a big gap. Okay, so you might want to walk the hands a little bit more forwards. Take a big breath in as we reach up with your right arm. This is called thread the needle. Open the chest and exhale as you bring that arm all the way through, palm facing up, the shoulder meets the mat and relax the head down. Okay, so this is your end position. We're gonna slowly work through four. Inhale as we unwind, open the chest and exhale as we bring it through. When you work through four on that first side, coming straight onto the other arm. Inhale as you reach up, exhale as you bring it through. Being really slow and mindful with every movement. Just notice how it feels on this second side. And then bring the body back to center, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. So we're a little bit closer now. We're gonna move through some cat cows to realign the spine. Inhale as we flex, bringing the shoulder blades together and you lift the tailbone up and lift the chin. Exhale as you round the spine, tuck the tailbone and tuck the chin. Okay, so this is called cat cow. If you haven't done it before, just start slow. So it does take a little bit of practice to get the whole spine moving. It's a really good way to add mobility into the spine. If anyone feels like they get tight lower back or upper back, working through these can really help. Nice. So in that cat position, the position at the top where you're rounding, Take a big breath out and try and pull the belly button through to the spine so you're active in your core. Let's work through a couple more. And on your next exhale, let's bring the spine back to neutral. We're going to find a toe squat now. So I know I've done it with you guys before, but we're going to tuck all the toes under if anyone's new to it. Making sure all the toes, you can use your hands if you need to, to make sure all the toes are tucked under. And with the hands, pop them in line with the shoulders. You can gently sit the hips back, 
nice and slow. Feeling some tension release through the back of the feet. You can either stay here or if you're ready, you can walk the hands back. So you find a full toe squat and you are bringing all of your weight into the feet. So this releases off your plantar fascia. If anyone does a lot of running or if you're on feet, if you're in shoes a lot of the time in the day, um, your feet do become tight and having tight feet can affect your knees and hips, okay? So it's really important. If it's too intense, lift the hips. We're gonna hold it here for another three breaths closing down the eyes and just allow the shoulders to relax away from the ears. Focus on that five second inhale and five second exhale. When you're ready, really slowly come on out, ground in the hands. You can circle off the feet to add a bit of blood, get a bit of blood back. That's what I was... Okay, just get a move, bit of movement back into the ankles. And then we're gonna sit back onto the heels. So if anyone's really tight in their knees, again, just lift the hips, okay, if this is uncomfortable. We're gonna add eagle arms now, so we're still working with the upper back. We're gonna wrap the arms, right arm underneath, left arm go on top. So the elbows touch, okay? You can close down the eyes and lift the elbows. This is quite a nice stretch, but if anyone's ready to, you can add a bind and you wrap the forearms and then the hands touch, okay? So this bind is really good for your joints, inflammation, and it also helps with circulation. So we're gonna hold it here for five breaths. You might notice the body wants to come out. But as long as it's not painful, just hold and breathe through it. Closing down the eyes feels quite nice, just so you can check in with the upper back. You can always lift the elbows a little bit higher to add a bit of a stretch. Breathing into the belly and just feel some tension release there as you exhale. And on your next exhale, slowly untangle the arms. Give your shoulders a little roll if you need to. Maybe roll through the neck like we did at the start. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go straight into the other side. So we're gonna wrap the right arm underneath this, on top this time. Again, hold there if that feels good, just elbow on top of the elbow or wrap so the palms touch. Big breath in as you lift and lengthen. Always keep a nice neutral spine so you can take a deep breath in. And breathe everything out as you exhale and try and sit with the stretch for another five breaths. And on your next exhale, really slowly and mindfully release the arms. And again, you can circle through the shoulders, maybe work through a few head rolls. And then we're gonna come back into your cat cow. So like we did before, working through some flexion and extension. And hopefully you feel like you've got a little bit more movement. So you can really round at the top. There's more movement there because of the stretch, that eagle stretch we just did. And in your own time, bringing the hips back. You can bring your knees a little bit wider for this one as we drop back into your last child pose. Spreading the fingers again, allow the shoulders to relax down and just allow the chest to sink in between the thighs. So you're just allowing your chest to drop a little bit deeper. And 
And on your next exhale, slowly bring it on up. If anyone wants to go through any stretches that they need themselves, feel free. But I am going to go into some longer, deeper stretches. We're really good for the hips now. So we're going to allow the spine to relax onto the mat. Pop a cushion underneath your head if you need to, but just allow the shoulders and the neck to relax here. The knees are bent, the feet are in line with the hips. We're going to take a big breath in as we peel the spine off of the mat. Bring the hips up nice and high. And I want you to feel the glutes engage and the muscles on that front of the thigh are actually lengthening here. You can either stay here or if anyone wants to interlock their hands underneath the lower back, you can roll the shoulder blades back and down to open up the chest here also. And this one's really good for posture. If anyone feels like they become tight from working at the desk, this one's a good one to lengthen the front of the body. Hold in here for another three breaths. And exhale, as you release the hands, slowly ripple the spine back down onto the mat. Um, make a little shuffle if you need to realign the body. So we're gonna work through the right leg first. We're gonna lift up your right leg, interlock the hands. If anyone's got um, yoga straps, you can pop it over the back, the sole of the foot. If you are using your hands, interlock the hands underneath the back of the knee and just gently bring the leg towards you. Sorry, not on the knee, just below the knee, okay? So on the back of the thigh. And we're just seeing where your full range is now. Don't overdo it, just a gentle stretch as you bring the leg towards you. And you can keep that knee soft. Hold in for five deep breaths, okay? On your next exhale, release the hands. We're going to slowly lower that leg down just an inch off the floor, keeping it straight. On your next breath in, lift the chest. So we come into a nice dish hold, getting the core muscles active here. Keep holding for five, four, three, two, one. Relax that leg all the way down. We're going to keep this left knee bent as we bring it up towards your left shoulder. Interlock your hands around the shin and just gently bring that knee up towards your left shoulder. The right leg is completely relaxed on the floor. We're going to take five deep breaths here. Feeling the back of that left hip lengthen. So the muscles around the glute area, lower back and hamstrings. You want to feel your left leg become really heavy in your hands. Big breath in and on your next exhale, we're going to slowly twist this left knee over to the right. So you come into a nice twist, pop a cushion underneath the knee if you don't touch the floor. And then with your left arm reaching out in line with your left shoulder, Again, pop a cushion underneath your hand if you're not actually resting on the floor. Take a big breath into the belly and slowly relax as you exhale. On your next exhale, let's bring the knees back. Ground in both feet in line with the hips, reshuffle the hips, and we're just gonna bring both knees up towards the chest. Rocking side to side. This is a really good way to get a little massage into your lower back if you're on a hard surface. So just gently rocking it side to side. And then when you're ready, ground in the feet back in line with the hips. Let's work on the left side now. So lengthen your left leg. Interlock your hands behind the back of the thigh. Five deep breaths.
On your next exhale, slowly lower this leg down, keeping it straight, an inch off the mat. Inhale as you reach and crunch, find your dish. For 10, you should feel your core muscles really reach up for five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Relax the head, relax that left leg. Let's bring the right knee up towards your right shoulder. Both legs really relax now. And on your next exhale, let's bring it over to the left. Coming back into that twist. Pop a cushion underneath if you need it. Reaching out with your right arm. Allow the shoulders to relax here. And on your next exhale, let's bring it back to center. You can hug into the knees again one last time if you like, rocking side to side. Loosen off the lower back and keeping the head and shoulders relaxed as we find a neutral position. So because it's the morning, you can keep it quite active. You can bring the legs wide, the hands also wide beside you. If anyone wants to miss this part, feel free to leave at any point. We're just gonna find a neutral position Pop a pillow underneath your head or hips if you need to for support. And allow the spine to uh, bring a gentle curve into the body, okay? There's no tension in your core. The hips are relaxed. And you might notice the feet turn out. Allow the shoulders to relax towards the floor. And all the muscles around the neck and the head become really relaxed. And the whole body now is feeling really heavy. Bringing your mind back to the breath as we take a big breath in through the nose. And exhale everything out through the mouth. Notice any sounds that you can hear, any feelings or sensations. just going to work through a little exercise to finish so as you take your next breath in I want you to think about something positive about yourself maybe thanking yourself for joining in today or something that you did yesterday that you're pleased about take a big breath in and bring all of that positive energy into the body and then as you exhale you're releasing any stress or tension out of the body Okay, you can just work through that practice for five breaths. Focusing on that good intention as you inhale. And exhale everything out, any negativity or any stress. Just noticing now how calm and relaxed the body and mind is. Keeping with those positive thoughts. We're gonna slowly wake the body back up. You can add some big movements here if you like. Maybe stretch the arms above the head. Maybe bring the knees <coughs> into your chest. And then really slowly roll up to seated. So coming round however you prefer. 
and find an interest phone like we did at the start. I'd just like to thank thanks for joining in today. And if anyone's got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. Yeah, you've got anything that you want to ask me. But I hope you enjoy and I'll uh, 